The Mini N18 engine is one of those power plants that sparks a lot of debate among car enthusiasts. Found in performance-oriented models like the Mini Cooper S and John Cooper Works between 2010 and 2017, this 1.6-liter turbocharged inline-4 was designed to meet strict emissions regulations while delivering a sporty driving experience. It came as an updated version of the notoriously problematic N14, aiming to improve reliability and refine performance. While the N18 did succeed in fixing several of its predecessor's issues, it still has its own set of quirks and common failures that owners should be aware of. Let's break down everything you need to know about the Mini N18 engine. The N18 is a compact yet advanced engine. It features a 1.6-liter aluminum inline-four layout with direct fuel injection, a twin-scroll BorgWarner K03 turbocharger, and sophisticated valve timing systems. BMW's double Vano system provides variable timing on both the intake and exhaust camshafts, while Valvetronic manages valve lift for better efficiency and throttle response. The engine block and cylinder head are made of lightweight aluminum, supporting a DOHC configuration with 16 valves. The bore and stroke measure 77 mm and 85.8 mm, respectively, contributing to a compression ratio of 10.5 to 1. The result is a power output ranging from 184 to 190 horsepower and 240 to 260 newton meters of torque depending on the model it was fitted into. A unique aspect of this engine is its use of a three-chain setup for timing, one for the camshafts and two more for balancing shafts and the oil pump. The cooling system features a thermostat and water pump driven by a belt located at the rear of the engine a design choice that brings both packaging advantages and service difficulties. The Mini N18 engine was used extensively in second-generation Mini models. These include Mini Hatch R56 2010-2014, Mini Cabrio R57 2010-2016, Mini Clubman R55 2010-2014, Mini Countryman R60 2010-2017, Mini Coupe R58 2011-2015, Mini Roadster R59 2012-2015, Mini Paceman R61 2013-2016. Even though the N18 improved over the N14, oil consumption remains an issue, often due to the piston ring design. Over time, Intake valves also develop carbon deposits, especially given the engine's direct injection setup, which lacks fuel wash on intake valves. These deposits can cause poor idle, misfires, and a loss of power. One of the more frustrating issues is premature timing chain wear. Stretching or slack in the chain can lead to noisy startups and eventually engine damage if ignored. The tensioner design, while improved, is still prone to failure and the multi-chain setup complicates repairs. Vanos, variable cam timing, and Valvetronic, variable valve lift systems add complexity. Over time, these components may fail due to oil sludge, electronic malfunction, or mechanical wear. When that happens, symptoms can include poor throttle response, increased fuel consumption, and error codes on the dashboard. The water pump and thermostat on this engine are notorious for failing earlier than expected. If not caught in time, overheating may occur, leading to expensive cylinder head or gasket repairs. Unfortunately, replacing these parts isn't straightforward due to their placement. The positive crankcase ventilation, PCV system, and oil separator went through several revisions. Earlier versions are known for membrane tears that cause oil vapor leaks and vacuum leaks, resulting in rough idle and rich fuel mixtures. Many owners replace these units preemptively during regular service. An internal tube in the oil filter housing, responsible for proper oil return, can warp over time. When this happens, it allows oil to drain prematurely into the sump, causing startup rattle, lower oil pressure, and even vanos or timing issues. Fortunately, replacing the tube is cheap and should be done preventively. 
The Mini N18 engine is an improvement over its troubled predecessor and offers decent power and efficiency for its class. However, it still demands attention and preventative maintenance to avoid costly issues down the line. It's a technically impressive engine with a few weak spots that, if addressed early, won't take away from the fun driving experience Mini is known for. If you're considering a Mini with this engine, or already own one, staying proactive with service is key to enjoying this turbocharged unit to its full potential.